we're going to look at the new use state hook in React. And it's a function that is exported from the latest version of React. And what it does is it lets you use state in function components. So let's look at an example of one of these. We're going to make a function called reveal text. And what this component is going to do is display some text and take a max length. And so it can truncate the text and show a read more button at the end. So it needs text and max length as props. And for now, just to get something on the screen, we're going to return a span that just renders out the text. Then down here, we can render out the reveal text component and pass in a max length of, say, 32 and some text. So what we'd like to do is if the text is short enough, we don't want to show any buttons at all. So if the text length is less than or equal to max length, we'll just return the span that we already have. Otherwise, we'll return something else. And so for now, that's what we're getting. So let's use the use state hook to add a piece of state here to keep track of whether the text is hidden or not. To do that, we're going to call use state and pass in some sort of default state. What this use state function does is it takes an initial state and it returns an array with two elements. So we can destructure that array. And what we get is the first element is going to be the state itself. And this is going to be whether this text is hidden or not. And the second element is a function to update the state. So we'll call it set hidden. We get to decide what this initial state is. And we'll say that it's going to be true. We're using ES6 destructuring here to pull the elements out of the array and give them names. So we're calling the state hidden and we're calling the setter set hidden. But you can call them whatever you like. The first time through here, use state is going to initialize to true, and so hidden is going to be true. This one line is all it takes to add state to a function component. So now we can use that state down here. Let's render out another span. And inside here, we'll look at the value of hidden. And if it is hidden, we'll truncate the text using the substr function. And we'll go from the first character to max length. Otherwise, we'll just render out the text. And then after the text, we're going to check hidden again. And if it is hidden, we want to render a button that says read more. And if it's not hidden, we'll render one that says read less. These won't do very much without click handlers, so let's add one of those in. We can set on click to a function that when it's clicked, we want to call this set hidden function up here and pass it a new value. So we'll say set hidden to false. Similarly, for this one, we can use on click and set hidden to true. And with that, you can see the text is being truncated and we get this read more. And when we click read more, the text shows up. Click read less, it goes away. And that's all it takes to add state to a function component. Call use state, pass in an initial state, store the state and the setter function. Use the state wherever you want, and the value you pass into the setter will replace whatever's in state.